Okay, here's another piece of uh, mystery tissue. It doesn't look like much of anything from here. The label is lung organizing pneumonia, but from looking at it from this power, we don't know what it really could be. I think, however, if you zoom in a little closer, you could now just about recognize the fact that there indeed are alveolar structures here. Here's an alveolus, here's a septum, here's another alveola, uh, here's a septum, here's a septum, here's an alveola. Notice that these uh, alveoli are filled with cells. They are not neutrophils like you would see perhaps in an acute pneumonia, and uh, they appear to have uh, basically a mononuclear structure with a lot of granular material in the cytoplasm. The chief cell, the predominant cell, 90% of the cells that are filling up these alveoli are indeed macrophages. And some of them have taken up a hemosiderin pigment, which is why they appear nice uh, and uh, granular with a golden pigment. This is an organizing pneumonia. And whereas in acute pneumonia, pneumonia you would see neutrophils uh, filling up most of these alveoli. In organizing pneumonia, the chief cell of uh, inflammation is a, a macrophage, uh, often called histiocytes by pathologists. And uh, they basically are uh, organizing the tissue so it could be once again uh, regenerated. That's why this is called the organizing phase of inflammation. It's also called uh, uh, granulation in a way. So uh, what else do we want to say here? Actually, we don't want to say anything more. Just the fact that you could realize in organizing pneumonia or organizing pneumonitis, if you'd rather use that term, you see that the architecture of the lung is preserved, but the alveoli are filled chiefly with macrophages.